Yo, what's up? I'm Juice World. You're watching Nardwar's Video Vault. Skrrr. <laughs> Who are you? I am Juice World. Juice World, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Neptune Records! Thank you for having me, man. I'm excited. I'm hyped. Right off the bat, Juice World, I have a gift for you. A signed Billy Idol record from 1982. A signed Billy Idol. <laughs> Time the fuck out, bro. What? A signed Billy Idol. And he's got chest hair, too. Oh, he got a happy trail. <laughs> Do you like that era of Billy Idol? Bro, what? Yes, hell yes, bro. This is like one of my biggest influences. Like he's my mom put me on him. She loves Billy Idol. Like this is raw as fuck. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? I signed Billy Idol for you, Juice World. What the fuck? I'm like in shock right now, bro. What the fuck? It feels like Christmas. Well, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Juice World. I feel welcome. And Juice World, right off the bat, the Chicago citizen, quote, Juice World used to skip classes about three days a week. Facts. That's factual. Last semester, however, the teen said he was absent for just two days. That's accurate. The reason for his improved attendance? Mm, I don't know. The hundred black men of oh Chicago oh how do y'all how do you know <laughs> time out time out how do you know about this shit like how well, you are Juice World we have to know no like for real how <laughs> like that ass how that's that's shout out to hundred BMC like they helped me a lot they helped me get through school they taught me like things just growing up and just you know how to maneuver through the environment we know as the world what's so, the importance of the hundred black men of Chicago. Man, this guidance, you know, one of the best, like, the best guidance I've really ever had. So, shout out to 100 BMC. Shout out to Fred. He ran the chapter that I was at. Um, yeah, shout out 100 BMC. Gang, gang. And Juice World, I was curious, was that era the Transformers era of Juice World? <laughs> what is going on there? <laughs> Where did you fucking find... <laughs> You know what? You want to know something funny? I knew this picture was going to resurface one day. I knew it was. I didn't know when it was going to come, but I knew it was coming. Hey, but I was, even though I looked like Arthur, I was still fresh as fuck, though. Wasn't nobody wearing preen. <laughs> Wasn't nobody wearing preen back then. Damn, I got the Ryan Sheckler hoodie on. Hey, I, I was raw as fuck at skating back in the day, though. No cap. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> what era was that? Was that Transformers? You love the movie Transformers. Oh yeah, for sure. This, that this was around that time. I think I was probably like, I had to be like eleven and twelve, maybe. This is this is crazy. <laughs> I look nothing like this. <laughs> you are Juice World nine nine nine. Quote Juice World. I shoot threes like I'm. What I that Jordan Rick. Oh, uh, Rick Nash. Rick Nash. Quote, people say I'm crazy, but my bar's going in... Insane. Insane. Yeah. Quote, on the radio, spitting radio... Rhymes, waves. Waves. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The illest hour radio show. What the fuck? W-H? Bro, you talking about my high school... W H F H oh. Jalen the Illist. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? How? Narwar, how? How do you well, know? You are Juice World. We have to know. But what can you say? Homewood Flossmore had a radio show? You had some bars on the radio. Spitting radio? Those were old quotes. I was a freshman in high... Bro, I was a freshman in high school. How does he know? I don't remember that shit. What the hell? Bro, so like, okay. It was, my school has a radio show. And when I first decided to like become a rapper, I was on there. And I was like freestyle. And those were like... Old quotes. What the? How do you know this, bro? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
What was that like, though? What do you remember about that show? Oh, it was ran by my homie Jalen. Uh, he was another artist at my school, and he just kind of created a platform for me to like freestyle, like just to get it out a little bit. So you know, shout out to Jalen. He's uh he's in the military now. Shout out to Jalen. And that was Homewood Flossmore. There was also some other people that went to Homewood Flossmore. Oh shit! <laughs> Where are you going with this? March and Sky. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I thought you was for name drop some <laughs> some people I didn't know. Martin Sky, Rocky Fresh. Um, there is a a basketball player that made it to the league that went to Homewood Flossmore. So a couple couple greats, couple greats, including myself. He <laughs> he. Now Shauna from the infamous Syndicate went to Flossmore. What? And I have a gift for you right here, a Shauna LP. Oh shit! She went to her high school. What, she went to HF? Yes, she went to your high school. Whoa. Produced also by Just Blaze. D oh, this is some shit. And she was in the infamous syndicate. Bro, you putting me on game. No, no, no. The infamous syndicate. Check this record right out here. Turn it over. What do you read there? Clock Strikes 12 featuring Fatal. Produced by... Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Kanye West? Kanye West. Easy, easy, easy. Just don't over jump, man. <laughs> this is one of his early productions, and he produced Shauna, who went to your high school. That's crazy. It's a small world. That's crazy. And I have a gift for you right here. A 12-inch of the Syndicate. Ooh, ain't plugging me, man. I'm finna have what? You finna make me go grab a vinyl player and shit. And if you look to that track right there, what you do to me, it says TV track. Oh, so that means it's like it's like a DVD type shit, or like it's just a chorus, so you can rap over it, and that is produced by Kanye West. Oh, I'm finna sample the fuck out of yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can play that at one of your gigs and rap right. over it. Yeah, yeah. And it's a Kanye beat, an early Kanye beat. Oh, that shit is tight. It's crazy as fuck. And you are Juice World nine nine nine. Juice World, I am number four. How do you know that was even in my life? What the fuck? Black, you hear him? That's like a childhood book. Like how? You talking about the book, right? How do you? How? Well, you are Juice World. We have to know. But that was like fifth grade. How? How? Can one of y'all answer me how? He, how? What the I am number four. Bro, that was like. So I read the book first, and then I went to I watched the movie afterwards, and it was the biggest letdown like ever. But the book was really good. I I'm probably gonna reread it now that we're talking about it again. Wow, I am number four. Kevin Black. Who? Hold on, time out. Say the say the name. Again. Kevin Black. <laughs> Antoine Lewis. <laughs> Nakia Davis. Bro. <laughs> He's name dropping people from grammar school. <laughs> what is going on, Narwar? I need like, how do you find this stuff? Like, well, you are Truth World. We have to know. Can I? Can you send me the link to like your search engine? It's like, dang, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, those are all old friends of mine from St. Paul Lutheran School. Truth World quote one eight three four one fortieth Court Club Hills, Illinois. Is that, is that my old studio? Envy. Envyon Entertainment. Ah, oh, shout out Will from Envyon Entertainment. That's like, he really got me going. It was like my first, like, real engineer. Shout out Will. He helped me spaz. Envyon, that's the first studio I really started recording at. I, um, I recorded Lucid Dreams there. I recorded Moonlight there. Uh, recorded Sticks and Stones there. It's just like, it's a... It's a memorable place for me, for sure. Shout out MVI. Juice World. What about Aurelio's Pizza? Oh my God, that's the shit. That is the shit. You never had Aurelio's? That's the shit. Aurelio's is the shit. If you ever in Homewood or just in the South suburbs in that area, Aurelio's Pizza, get pepperoni and sausage with extra sauce. It's fire as fuck, bro. You will not like be upset. Trust me. And the original location is there. Yeah, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Quote, in the streets of New York, juice means... It's like swag, don't it? Power. Power, yeah. And I have a gift for you, juice. Oh, the juice soundtrack. Oh, shit. From 1991 featuring 
Big Daddy Kane. Hey. Because <laughs> you are Juice World, man. And here is the Juice soundtrack. What the fuck? This is like one of my favorite movies. This is one of the reasons I got my name. For sure, I had his haircut. This is wild. This is crazy. You're like blessing me right now, bro. This is crazy as fuck. And you are Juice World. Thank you, Side Piece. <sighs> Thank you, Side Piece, for sure. Uh, that was the jump of my career. That was the start of it. Thank you, Side Piece. Thank you, Nick Mirror. DT, Side Piece, introduced you to... Nick Mirror. You're taking it back. Ooh. <laughs> this is crazy. Speaking of Nick, I have a gift for you. A Sting 7-inch, which you sampled on Lucid Dreams. Yeah, yeah. And Nick found this song when he was watching a movie, Leon the Professional. Oof, yeah, that's the that's the the behind the scenes of the shit for sure. This sample is one of my favorite samples, bro. It'll always be one of my favorite samples. And Nas also samples that song, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Juice World, thank you, DJ Victorious. Oof, DJ Vic, that's my homie, that's my dog, man. He. He part of the reason why I'm standing right here. Like he's the he's the goat. He put me on, put me around some of the people that's on my team now. And shout out DJ Vic. He told Bibby about you. Yes, sir. That's crazy. I think he told Bibby's brother, who then told Bibby. Yeah, G Money. That's who. Shout out G Money, man. That's my that's my dog. That's man. Juice World quote: I tie up my laces. I'm bawling like I'm. <laughs> uh, what I say? Calvin. Calvin Cambridge. Rainbow. <laughs> like Mike. Like Ooh. Mike. Never. You got the bro. What? Hey. Like Mike is important to Juice World, right? Uh, but this is like, you know, people say they have like a top three movie, and then they like change it around. This is literally like in the top three, and it will never move a spot, no matter what movie I watch. Like, from, you know what I'm saying? I could, like, watch a raw-ass movie, it will never take the place of this. Like, Mike, this shit is, like, legendary. I could I could watch this a hundred times in a row. This could be looped on my TV forever, and I would be happy. And that is a fact. Like, Mike. You see how Drip Bow Wow is, though? Look at him. Like, he drip, bro. Look, got the French braids. He's swagging on the ass. Jason Kidd got hair, all type of shit. <laughs> hey I got the Bro this is just like An iconic ass time Like this movie Was raw as fuck I don't like the second one though Boo Some food places Captain Hooks Whew. You making me hungry man That's the best chicken Fish and chicken Well I don't know Honestly Hooks Sharks Harold's I'm probably gonna get My black car revoked for this But sometimes they taste the same I'm not gonna lie to you it's okay though. And Juice World, do you play piano a bit? I do. I do. Still? Yeah, I still fool around with it a little bit. Like when I'm trying to show off, I just hop on the keys and play like, you know, a little something. I have a gift for you. A stylophone, which actually is a pocket organ. And we can turn it on right there. And you could play Lucid Dreams for us right here. How does this... How does this work? And it works this way, Juice World. Check it out. You use this little pen and you go like. Oh. What? And I was wondering, can you play Lucid Dreams on that? I don't think so. And all girls. Oh, I, I think I just did all girls. Yeah, there go. That's, that's like the melody, yeah, yeah. So that is for you, a stylophone. This is like like you have given. And it's got an output there, so when you get it together, you can play that at your gigs. It's got an output. This is like you have given me like the best gifts I've ever received in my life. Do you, uh, I have a question for you. Let me interview you for a second. Do you know somebody named Imogene Heap? You heard of the artist Imogene Heap before? Yes, I have. Doesn't she have stuff like this? Like, she, cause I know she creates her own beats on stage. Doesn't she use shit like this? Well, like, David Bowie used that for Space Oddity. Who? And now Juice World can use this on stage. Just stylophone. I'm finna get in my bag. Y'all think I make different music now? Just wait. I'ma go like into the mountains for like five years and come back like drip. <laughs> for real, for real. Damn, Narwar, you that nigga, bro. You the goat. I'm not gonna lie. Anything else you want to add to the people out there, Juice World? 
um, everybody stay positive no matter how negative life gets. And remember, all girls aren't the same anymore because I got a girlfriend. So, Why should people care about Juice World? Why should people care? I feel like they should care about me because I care about them. So I just want the same energy reciprocated, you know, back to me. So, plus, why wouldn't you care about Juice World? It's Juice World. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Juice World. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do loot do <laughs> do do yeah. Hey, <laughs> we lit, man. This is fucking crazy. Bro, wait. I have to capture this moment on my phone right now. I have to capture it. For sure. Wait. Everybody hold the spot. Everybody hold this position. Okay? We're good. We're good. I just finished my Narwar interview. He's frozen. <laughs> Cameraman's everywhere. Game me yelling shit. <laughs> and we're still rolling.